Welcome back to MTD CNC. I am beyond honored today to be with my friend, Dr. Mori. You may recognize this handsome young face because he is already famous and I get to spend time with him and you on camera today. We have three major topics we're gonna cover, yeah. which is here at Gymtoff, the technology that's on the booth, mm -hmm. how this technology will help you, the audience, and what the future holds for DMG Mori as well in the coming months and years. So Dr. Mori, thank you so much for Welcome. being here. Yes. Let's talk about the technology that's on this booth right now. Yes. Uh, everybody talking about uh, shortage of the work force, or digitization, or GX, and those kind of things. The most important thing is that uh, I think a lot of customers, the machine shops, having uh, 10 years, 20 years, 30 years old machines. This is a time to make a process integration by use of the top-notch 5Xs with uh, milling functions or mill-time machines. Then by doing that, uh, we can eliminate very old uh, non-efficient machines and pack them into uh, 10 machines into uh, three machines package or even to uh, one machines. By doing this, that uh, it is easy because that uh, on a five axis machine you are just going to change the parts, or uh, military machines you are just going to change the chuck to a robot's hand, and easy for matching for the automations. In order to realize the automations, you have to start from the the 3D drawings and uh, CAM systems, and also that you need to have a very good uh, post-processor for running the machines. This is what is called the uh, entire DX. And then, the, since the system is running automatically, autonomously, then that uh, you have to take care for the very basic cutting phenomenon, such as coolant, uh, mist, or like a uh, chip. So this is a key for the very basic, but the most important things. So. We are going to show uh, how to support our customer uh, to realize the real DX and uh, also that the process integration and automation. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense to me. We've yeah. almost answered question one and two in the same of how DMG Mori can help the customers with the technology we're looking yes. at. And you were so right. In yeah. order to compete on yeah. a global scale yes. for the global audience that's watching, yeah. it is the integration of everything we see behind us, isn't it? Yes, that's right. And then uh, selling the hardware, even the software is easy, but, but the customer really needs support. The beauty of our company is that uh, we have uh, about all over the world about uh, 2,000 application engineers, and also as well, uh, in addition to that, we have a 2,000 service engineer or installation engineer. So not only developing machines or software, we can support the initial installations, implementation, execution of the system or machines at the customer site. Dr. Mori, I'm glad you brought that up and I'll tell you why. Mm. Have you heard that statement before? You can always sell the first machine or yeah. the salesman will always sell the first machine but yeah. it's service and support That's that sells right. all the That's rest, right. isn't it? Yes. So it is quite tough, especially in the United States. Uh, high level service engineers is a superstar in the machine shops. So uh, we have to raise the salary of our people and uh, we have to keep the attention for how to motivate my service people and the respect and so on. This is very important. But anyhow, we will keep on hiring the service engineer and uh, going to provide them uh, e-learning, so uh, factory training in Japan or in front in Germany and so on. So uh, anyhow, as you mentioned, uh, the level of the service engineer, the backup support is the key for us to, to maintain a customer satisfaction. Absolutely yeah. correct. You have the technology. You're yeah. a leader in the technology. DMG Mori is known worldwide wow, for having you. solutions. Yeah. The service and support is so significant to go along with yes, it. That's right. So as we go through these questions that we want to know for the mm. audience, the future, right? I know you're always thinking about what can we create? Yeah. What can we do? Yeah. What's the coming months and coming years look like yeah. for DMG Mori? I, yeah. Think about the background technology of the supporting the machine tools is that uh, speed of the uh, semiconductor or speed or robustness of the connectivities of the internet and so on. At this moment, the internet world still there is a gangs and so on and it's not so kept secured. But I wish and I hope that by let's say 2030 we will have some 
uh, robust and the standard rules how to connect our machines into a cloud or a bigger uh, cyberspace. And then that this will help our customer or operator or even our way of the manufacturing becoming more green and the more direct connections with our customers. And not only running the machines, but for the, some of the consumer uh, uh, products, such kind of the coolant uh, uh, supplies or cutting tool awareness, and this can be determined by the machines automat automatically. Mm -hmm. And we can ship the, uh, the remaining cutting tools to the customer, uh, like Amazon, yeah? I think when I'm listening to you talk, Dr. Mori, yeah. it's really this, this web of connectivity yeah. that allows us to do preventive maintenance, to yes. do, pre to do yes. uh, exploratory ordering, to make sure that everything's taken care of yeah. before we even know that yeah. it needs to be taken that's care right. of. That's, that's right. So the, uh, we can use uh, machine learning or autonomous uh, type of things for the predict machines to reserve or some of the backup system we're going to predict the customer or machine itself, uh, this is a place we are going to break down in the next five days and so on. So the productivities. Final goal is that uh, we are going to make more robust and uh, keep running systems in a very smart manner. Yeah. Wow, machine downtime is probably some of the most costly things that yes. you can have. So you've now constructed service. You've now talked about preventive maintenance. Yes. You know, I always like to end these conversations yeah. with a message to the audience. Mm. I'll give you a moment to think about it because we didn't go over it, but it's very important to go, look, guys, mm. Dr. Mori is here. DMG Mori is here to support you. Are there any messages that you'd like to share? Because I know this is not your first interview, my friend, wow. with the audience watching right now from DMG Mori. Well, I want to share the, our spirit together with the customer. Manufacturing is a key for the sustainable uh, human beings' uh, well, better lives. You know, in order to achieve the carbon footprint uh, minimize or uh, better lives, that uh, we have to make more lean societies or uh, reusable societies, or, or a more efficient way of the making the motors, engines, or whatever. And in this case, we need more preciseness, or more productivities. And we are very happy together with customers that we can be a good contributor or participants for such kind of a important role for the entire human beings. Very, very yeah. well said, and thank you so thank much you for so your much. time, Dr. Yeah. Mori. Thank you for much. Thank you all yeah. for watching. I hope you've learned as much as I have from Dr. Mori today. We do appreciate you. One last time, thank you're you. a good man. Thank yeah. you so thank much, you so Dr. Much. Thank you so much. Thank you for coming here. Absolutely. Good.